The slowdown in emerging markets is driving some investors to drink, but clearly not enough, according to my next guest, Pierre Pringay. He's the CEO of Pernod Ricard. Welcome, Pierre. It's good to have you back. Now, let's start off with your business in China. Asia makes up around 40% of your sales. So how is the slowdown in the emerging markets, especially China, affecting you? Well, I would start by saying that Pernod Ricard is a truly global uh, company. And for instance, our number one market is the U.S., and the second is China. Having said that, yes, there is a slowdown in uh, the emerging market, but we still enjoy double-digit growth rate, for instance, in both China and India. Which brands are being hit the hardest in China? I know they like their cognac, but what about whiskey? Whiskey, Scotch whiskey, yes, suffered in uh, China. The market had a net decline last year. And regarding cognac, it's still growing, but at a lower pace than before. And with regard to your India business, how is the plummeting rupee affecting Pernod Ricard? Well, in India, we happen to sell locally made spirits. So in terms of price, the rupee doesn't impact us. But of course, the translation, the conversion of our profits, which are significant in India into uh, euro or US dollars, of course, there is this forex impact. Now, Pernod Ricard did very well introducing high-end tequila here with Tequila Avion. Are you introducing any new products uh, to develop the Asian taste for hard liquor, for, for spirits? Well, first of all, I would like to praise the success of Avion and, of course, the cooperation with we have Ken, Ken Austin on that brand, which is uh, absolutely rocketing. Uh, and uh, this is really the inspiration of Ken. And uh, the brand is uh, probably the most successful launch of a super premium spirit in the U.S. Uh, local spirits in the, uh, it's mainly India, I mentioned that. Okay, now what about with regard to European business? Um, a lot of people say that Europe is coming out of its tailspin. Does that mean they're celebrating with a little bit more champagne? Uh, hopefully, yes. I think it's a bit too early to say that. I would say clearly Europe, the Eurozone is getting out of the recession. Would that convert into um, full-fledged recovery is a bit too early. Now, back to the United States. What do you think is the next big spirit to take off here? Clearly, tequila is having a renaissance. Everyone's rolling out new tequilas. What do you think is next? Well, starting from the beginning, the U.S. is our largest market, is the largest spirit market in the world, highly profitable. So what's coming next? In fact, it's the whiskey. There is a real recovery of the, let's say, non-Scotch whiskey, and we have a fantastic uh, success with uh, Jameson, but we also develop for instance, Paddy as a more innovative uh, Sco uh, Irish whiskey with flavored, for instance, cinnamon, apple, honey, and it's uh, well accepted by the consumer. All right. Thanks a lot, Pierre. Thanks a lot. And thank you for watching The Street.